hello students in this video we'll discuss about finding an orthogonal transitory of family of cartesian sets before we take up this example we'll understand what you mean by the orthogonal transitory the orthogonal transitory means that if every member of the family f1 if we have the family f1 and another family f2 if every member of this family f1 is orthogonal to every member of the family f2 then these two families are called as the orthogonal trajectories of each other so by using the differential equations if the one family is given the equation of one family is given we can find the the equation of another family how we can do it is see for any member of this family f1 we know that the dy by dx represents the slope of the family any member of the family f1 if it is perpendicular to or orthogonal to the family f2 then the slope of any member of the family f2 by using the properties with the slope we know that if two curves are orthogonal then it is m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 so from that result we can write the slope of second family will be minus dx by dy so therefore if one family is given and if we differentiate we'll get dy by dx it is a differential equation corresponds to the family f1 so go for replacing the dy by dx by minus dx by dy we'll get the family f2 after solving we will get the equation of the family f2 so this is the logic behind that so the steps will be the working rule for finding the orthogonal trajectory will be first thing we need to do it is differentiate the given curves or family of the curves get a differential equation the second step will be replace dy by dx by minus dx by dy once we replace that we will get the differential equation of the family f2 now go for solve solve the differential equation so these are the main three steps in finding the orthogonal trajectories so let us take the example so here family we are finding the orthogonal trajectory of family x square by a square plus y square by b square plus lambda is equal to 1 where the lambda is the parameter so here given that lambda is the parameter so write the given equation x square by a square plus y square by b square plus lambda is equal to 1 on differentiating with respect to x will get 2x by a square plus 2y the derivative of y square will be 2y dy by dx by b square plus lambda is equal to the derivative of 1 is 0 so here before we replace the dy by dx by minus dx by dy your differential equation should be independent of the parameter lambda so we need to eliminate the lambda from either the given equation or from after the differential so this we can write x square by a square is equal to minus 2y dy by dx divided by b square plus lambda on cancellation it is x by a square is equal to y dy by dx divided by b square plus lambda with the minus sign so take this as equation number 1 now eliminating lambda from the equation 1 so here it is we can write x square by a square minus 1 is equal to minus y square by b square plus lambda simplification x square minus a square divided by a square 
is equal to minus of y square divided by d square plus lambda. From equation 1 and 2, we need to eliminate lambda. We see that if we divide 1 by 2, we will get an equation independent of lambda. So, go for dividing 1 by 2. It is x by a square divided by x square minus a square divided by a square is equal to minus y dy by dx. This divided by b square plus lambda. This divided by here we have y square by b square plus lambda. Simplifying the b square plus lambda a square by a square that get cancelled. It is x by x square minus y square. This also we have a minus sign here. And even the minus sign 1y will get cancelled. So we are left with dy by dx divided by or else we can write this as dy by dx is equal to xy divided by x square minus a square. Now, this differential equation is independent of the parameter. So, we will go for replacement. Now, replace dy by dx by minus of dx by dy by minus dx by dy. So, it is minus dx by dy is equal to xy divided by x square minus a square. Now, this is the differential equation corresponds to the orthogonal trajectory of the given family. Now, the third step will be we have to solve this differential equation. Now, this we can do it by variable separable method it is x square minus a square divided by x into dx is equal to minus y into dy it is x square by x is x minus a square by x dx is equal to minus y y dy on integrating it is integration of x is x square by 2 minus here the a square is constant integration of 1 by x is log of x is equal to minus the derivative sorry the integration of y is y square by 2 plus the integration constant so, rewriting with the simplification, it is x square, take 2 as an LCM, it is 2 a square log x divided by 2 is equal to minus y square plus 2t divided by 2. So, we have the given orthogonal trajectory of given family as Cancelling 2 on both sides, also taking these terms on the left side, it is y square is equal to 2c. Also, we can write this as 2a square log of x plus y square is equal to some c dash, where this c dash is equal to 2c. So, this is the orthogonal trajectory. Thanks for watching.